Shout out to Dark Visitor for sending me this story. And this is a very interesting update involving Brianna Taylor. And it is dated January 15, 2021. So the attorney for Brianna Taylor's family just came forward with some very interesting information. I don't know how a value it could be considering all the stuff that they have done so far, but it should be something that's worth looking into. And I think this right here is more reason as to why this case got the uh, uh, the bad uh, press that it got. That and with the uh, help of uh, what's his face? The court gestured uh, coon known as Daniel Cameron. So apparently the attorney for um, Breonna Taylor's family has come out and said that there was unreleased camera footage that they withheld from them for months. Ones that could have definitely turned the tide in this entire investigation. When they start doing stuff like that, that means that the other side most likely had a losing chance. And wait till you find out, because I already read how many, how much footage was missing. Wait till you hear how much was actually missing, because it wasn't just one. One of the attorneys for Breonna Taylor's family says there is body camera footage from a separate raid the night of the deadly shooting that is connected to the overall case and was withheld by Louisville Metro Police. Attorney Sam Aguiar posted Friday on Facebook that the Louisville Metro Police Department confirmed to me yesterday that at least 18 important body camera videos exist on Breonna Taylor's case and were withheld from all of us. That's what I like to call cheating. In order to try to win, that's what they do. According to the Facebook post, Aguiar and other attorneys working on Taylor's case subpoenaed the videos from the raid on Elliott Avenue in June, months before Kentucky Attorney General the Crone Jester Coon, Daniel Cameron, announced a decision in the investigation. Now I'm going to try to uh, read what this person wrote because it's a uh, a lot of what they said. They said, this comes in response to the attached open records request. In response to your request for body camera video from 10 p.m. March 2nd at two, uh, to 2 a.m. March 13th for the listed officers, there were four videos found for Goodlet slash Hannah, two videos found for Barton, and one video found, found for Meany, one video found for Benzig, two videos found for Viterek, no video found for James, no video found for Doer, no video found for Macaulay, and no video found for Fan. In request to your in response to your request for body camera video from LMPD SWAT members who were at Elliott Avenue and did not depart the Springfield Drive from 12:30 a.m. March 12 to 1:30 a.m. March 13th, with the limited information, we were able to locate 11 videos responsive. Two of those identified videos were from Meany and Viterek, as mentioned above. In response to your request for body camera video for Officer John Kirk from 12.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. March 13th, there was no video found. Please be advised, all identified body camera video is denied release pursuant to KRS 61.878, one hour in conjunction with KRS 17.150, LNPD is a law enforcement agency. The requested records were compiled in the process of detecting, investigating a statutory violation and is in part of, of four pending Jefferson County Circuit Court cases, 20 CR 001270, 001, 002, 003, and 004. Any premature release of these records could jeopardize the pending prosecution by identifying witnesses not otherwise known and tipping them off to the direction of the ongoing criminal case. Impact witness recollection of the incident and taint the jury pool by permitting the case be tried in the court of public opinion rather than court with benefit of procedural and evidentiary rule. So basically, to sum up everything that I read, they knew that they had those videos, but they claimed that they lost them or not so much lost them, but they didn't even exist. But now all of a sudden, they just kind of popped up and now they found them. See what I mean? Dirty. Let me continue. Aguiar said he was told the 18 body camera videos didn't exist until the LNPD confirmed Thursday that investigators had located them. The Facebook post includes the response from the LNPD, which addresses the videos that were recorded at the separate raid the night Taylor was killed at her home in March. 
According to the response, the videos are not from the Raider Taylor's home, but from an Elliott Avenue address, likely the home of Jamarcus Glover, Taylor's ex-boyfriend, who was a central figure in a drug investigation by the LNPD. Former LNPD Detective Joshua James, who was part of LNPD's place based investigation unit was working on a drug case involving Glover listing his home as a drug house. James told investigators he believed there were packages related to drug dealing sent to Taylor's apartment for Glover. He says he saw Glover himself leave Taylor's apartment with mail. James was fired earlier this month for his role in the investigation. Interim Police Chief Yvette Gentry said in the firing decision that James violated the department's standard operating procedures for preparation for search warrant execution and truthfulness and untruthfulness lying in the affidavit. According to the LNPD response to Aguiar, police do not plan to release the videos because they could jeopardize the investigation. Yeah, it jeopardized the investigation for them. Because they know if they release these tapes, that could open up a whole new can of worms for them. They need to pressure them to get those tapes released. Like I said, they, it was a lot of dirty, shady, underhanded things going with this. I'm, like I always say, if you have to do all of this to try to prove your innocence, that means you weren't so innocent now, were you? Any premature release of these records could jeopardize the pending prosecution by identifying witnesses not otherwise known and tipping them off to the direction of the ongoing criminal case, impact witness recollection of the incident, and taint the jury pool by permitting the case be tried in a court of public opinion rather than in court with the benefit of procedural and evidentiary rules, which is basically that last part that I read in the actual whole Facebook post. Now, listen to that. Court of public opinion. Isn't it amazing, though, that Breonna Taylor's name was dragged through the mud? Mind you, she is deceased while she was deceased, and her name was dragged through the mud through court of public opinion because they said that she was a queen pin. Uh, she had drugs coming in and out of her house. She, you know, with her ex-boyfriend. Th Wasn't that the court of public opinion? And they were doing that, but they don't want it to happen to them. The video surfaced after an open records request by Aguiar. A spokesperson for the LNPD said the police department had no comment about Aguiar's al allegation. WLKY has not yet heard from the mayor's office. Uh, Taylor was killed on March 13th in her apartment. And I'm not going to uh, finish uh, reading it because that's just a rehashing of what actually happened. But yeah, this is a very interesting update. But yeah, they are full of it. They definitely are. Had all of that footage and sat on it and claimed that they that they, it didn't exist. But now all of a sudden, it's been found. My thing is, what made them hold on to it? You know, you would think they would try to get, have gotten rid of it, but they held on to these tapes for almost a year. It'll be a year in March, March 13th. Crazy to believe. But it's like I said, there's more cases out there like this where evidence is being withheld and tampered with because now I, I i almost want to see what those states are but you know i think that's probably going to have to go all the way to the judge and they're going to have to decide at the end of the day don't leave it in the hands of that daniel cameron because you already know how he get down but y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments like share subscribe if you haven't done so already text the number that is pinned down in the comments below to receive notifications every time i upload a new video and i will talk to you in the next one